Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2023 video tutorial. I want to do that bow tile in SolidWorks. The original design is by Matthias Rappenhagen and you can find his really amazing models on grabcat.com. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at that one. So here it is and for the first steps you will need those two views and afterwards you might need these. And of course you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Okay, at first I want to create some planes. So one parallel to this one and the distance should be 2760 divided by 2. Confirm. Another one, same value, but flip the offset. Confirm. Then another one with a distance to the right plane and that distance should be 5000. Confirm. Another one again to this one and the distance should be 11,250 minus that 5000. But flip the offset. Then another one with a distance to the top plane and that distance should be 250. Confirm. Let's take a look. Yeah, this looks okay. Then another one again the distance to the top plane but yeah I didn't deselect so like this and that should be 1600 minus the 250 but flip the offset confirm and for the moment the last one again in the opposite direction and the distance should be 2760 no, minus 250 and confirm yeah looks okay so the first sketch will be on the top plane. I need a rectangle which should be only for construction. Like that. Then align those planes with that rectangle like this then I will need some arcs so go for a three point arc yeah should be on that line maybe like this here then add another one up to that line here. Don't snap. Only the point on the line. Okay. Now let's add a constraint between this point and the origin and that should be horizontal. There should be a tangency between those two arcs and I need dimensions here over there and this should be 850 
that radius should be 6500 and that radius should be 30,000 and I will need a tangency between that line here and this arc like that and that's fully defined nice now I want to mirror those two arcs so go for mirror entities and mirror it about that plane here this plane and confirm now let's add so where is my sketch there you go and I need just a line between those two points finish this one finish that sketch and now I can go for an extrude let's take a look it should be like that here yeah so those planes are really too big let's go for an extrudable space with that sketch here so extruded post base with this sketch that one here and this should go up to the surface and that would be plane 5 yeah and the second direction should go up to surface and that would be plane 6 yeah yeah looks good confirm now I want to add chamfers at the bottom so go for chamfer and I want to have two distances and that should be not symmetric asymmetric and I want to go for 400 and 540 and 1310 no that's a little bit too much obviously more like this okay select the edge here and select the edge on the other side as well and in SOLIDWORKS this works great now I want to add a fillet on both sides and that fillet should be 1092 so go for a fillet go for 1092 and select this edge here and of course the opposite one as well that one here looks pretty good so let's confirm this and okay next sketch will be again on the top plane but first I want to add two more planes so go for another plane it should have distance to the front plane and that distance might be let's go for 80 millimeter and confirm another one again let's remove this one go for the front plane 80 millimeter but flip the offset and confirm now let's do a sketch on the top plane and I need a rectangle let's draw it like that and I want to align the planes with the lines so that line should be aligned with 
this plane here collinear confirm and then on the other side this line with that plane here again collinear confirm and now on this line and that plane here collinear confirm and this line and that plane here again collinear confirm finish that sketch now I want to make with this sketch another extrude so go for an extrude to post base expand that and go for this sketch and this should go up to surface and that would be the plane on the top that would be plane 5 yep yeah. and it should go down in the other direction up to surface and that would be plane 7 and confirm now I could hide those planes at least for the moment okay let's add a fillet on this edge here and this should be 1350 and confirm then a 5000 millimeter fillet 5000 on this edge all around yes and on the other side as well like that looks pretty good and works great now I will need three more sketches and three surface extrudes. First sketch might be on the right plane, on this one here. So go for sketch. I need a circle and the diameter of that circle should be uh, two times two times five thousand seven hundred and ninety okay it's a really big one now let's move this a little bit down then put this one onto that plane why not and I need a tangency with the plane up here and that one here so that should be plane 5 and plane 5 and that circle and that should be tangent. Now I want to shorten this a little bit. So let's go for a construction line like this here. Trim it and add a dimension from that plane up here this plane to that line and that might be no that's wrong so let's make this one here horizontal it's already horizontal okay let's undo that So try again, smart dimension between this line here and that plane. And that shouldn't be an angle. That's interesting. So let's take a look from here. And this might not be horizontal. That's interesting. 
and it says it's already horizontal. Oh, there's that angle, that's my error. So undo that and delete that angle and then make it horizontal. Now we can add that dimension from that plane up there, that's plane 5, to that line and that might be 1200 for example. That should do. Confirm. Okay. Next sketch might be on the front plane. And another arc. Maybe like that. Okay. So this point and the origin should be aligned vertical. That point should be in that plane here, and that's plane 7, coincident. And this point should be in plane 3, coincident. I also need a tangency constraint between that arc and plane 7 tangent. Okay, nice. And now let's add a dimension. And this radius should be 16,000. Yeah. Finish that sketch. And the last sketch is on the top plane on this one. Another circle. And that diameter should be 3800. This point should be aligned with the origin, horizontal, and again I need a tangency between that circle and that's plane 3. Tangent. Great. Now let's trim that a little bit. Snap. This should be for construction only. Then trim. And add a dimension from this line here to the plane 3. And that might be 1300. Finish that sketch. No, that's too small. Seems I've missed. Yeah, one zero. So this should be 1300. Now leave that sketch. Now I can make three extrude surfaces. Maybe hide those planes as well. Okay. First surface extrude, maybe with this one here. And this should go up to that would be surf plane one. Second direction would be plane two. This one here. And confirm. Next one. Another surface extrude with this sketch here. Again, it should go up to a surface, and that would be plane 3. Second direction would be plane 4. Up to plane 4. And confirm. And the last one. With this sketch here, again it should go up to a surface and that would be plane 5. And the second direction would go up to plane 7. And confirm. And now I can split 
maybe hide those so it's easier to see. Okay, let's do our first split with that one. So go for a split. That's the trim tool here. And the selected body would be this one here. I want to cut the bodies and I want to keep body 2. So you have to select body 1 because that should be removed like that. Hide that surface. Show the next one. That's this one. Oh, I forgot to. Let's check. I want to consume cut bodies. That's okay. Okay, another split. Now that's the tool. The body is this one here. Cut. And I want to... That's interesting. Three bodies. I think I want to keep body three. So one and two should be removed. Yes. That's okay. And confirm. Then hide that extrude here. Show this one. Go for another split. That's the tool. Go for those bodies here. Let's try to select them at once. That's a body. It's just one body. That's okay. So cut bodies. And I want to remove one and two. Those two should go away. Consume and confirm. Great. Hide that surface extrude. Now let's add some fillets. Let's go for maybe 30 or 40 millimeter. Let's go for 30 millimeter on this edge. That edge here. Yes, confirm. Another fillet on this edge here. Not the face, but yeah, I know. Remove that face, just the edge. That's okay, confirm. Last step, a shell. So go for a shell, select that face, and I want to have a thickness of 100 millimeter. And confirm. And I'm done. So, hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. And you could follow me also on GrabCat, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.